And we'll see you then, Vanessa. Thank you. You know, people weren't the only ones who were seeking shelter during Hurricane Irma. Animals needed some help, too. And Charlie is live at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. Hey, good morning. How you doing? You okay? R R I'm good, Russell. We're here. We're here, so we're good. Yeah, we are. That's right. And Russell and That's Laura, right. I got something that I think is going to be perfect for right now. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Soak it in, folks. Mm. Soak it in. Because I tell you what, a puppy oh. makes everything a little better. This is a little four-week-old puppy who rode out Hurricane Irma right here at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. <laughs> Staff had to stay here with the dogs and cats who couldn't be evacuated to New Jersey. And he did just fine, didn't you, buddy? Just like so many people in our area. We're going to be okay, right? So I'm going to tell you about getting through the storm with these puppies, how they fared here at the Humane Society, the big issue of strays that will definitely be an issue moving forward, and advice for so many homeowners <coughs> out there who are dealing with out power. There are some things you need to know. I'll share it with you. Stick around, everybody. Soak it up. Oh. We can make it a good day, Tampa Bay. The tail just wag. Let's all wag our tails and make it a good day, Tampa Bay. That's so cute. You were right. That is just Needed what it. we need. Thank you, Charlie.